What's this? What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video out here this morning just walking just walking the dogs getting some low intensity cardio in first thing in the morning getting out in nature just moving so one of the reasons I started doing fasted walking in the morning was a man called Elliot Hulse I'm sure some of you who have watching the channel may have heard of him the guy was a very very big inspiration to me when I was sort of 18 17 trying to get healthy uh, I used to get up, walk before school, walk the dog, listen to some audiobooks, listen to some podcasts, just like the man himself. But it is, it's just a nice way to start the day and it can really change your life. It's not something that I actually do as often or as much as I would like because it's not in my routine, it's just not habit. But over the next 30 days, I kind of want to build it into my daily routine and make it into part of that daily practice. So if you want to join me, let me know down below if you are and tag me on Instagram in a story or something if you do actually do it. The dogs have had their food, now it's time to grab my own. First meal is done. The theme of today's sort of vlog and food is gonna be keeping it simple. Food doesn't have to be overly complicated and take hours to cook up. It can literally be five ingredients thrown on a plate and you have a pretty epic breakfast. We've just got four eggs here, some cherry tomatoes and spinach fried up, raw cheese, avocado. Good quality, high protein source, good quality veggies, good fat sources from the cheese and the avocado. Quite a simple one for if you wanna try it at home. The macros for the whole thing are on the screen, although it can differ a little bit. Let's go. All that we said, all that we are, waiting to fly, this is the start. Hide and So I'm just running some errands this morning. I had to post some t-shirts, get some of my car fixed, grab some food, just boring little bits and bobs that take our time. Hello. Finally back from doing some errands. It's now about 2.30 and I'm just grabbing some lunch. I thought I'd show you what that is. A few moments later. In here, we've got smoked mackerel, olives, salad leaves, and then some cucumber and pepper chopped in there. And then I've just drizzled on top olive oil. And then on the side, cappuccino and some 85% dark chocolate. Again, lowish carb, highish fat, pre-training, good serving of veggies, good protein, omega-3s, all of that good stuff in there. Another simple-ish meal, this took me five minutes just to quickly knock up and you could easily prep it if you wanted to. It is now like 5.30 and it's time to train. So I've got the usual pre-workout, BCAAs, glutamine. I'm gonna sling some rings up in that tree. We have the IKEA boxes as well for a good old upper body session. So starting the session off with some tuck L-sit presses to planche. The reason I'm using this exercise is I'm trying to focus on starting and controlling the movement through the scapula, really trying to re-pattern my press, focusing on that protraction because the protraction with the serratus anterior, the scapula, uh, is really gonna be key to having a strong foundation for your planche. And I like this exercise for doing that, 
trying to remove as much of the arms from this exercise as possible. Then, excitingly, there is some strap-free pulling. This is the first time in four months that I've been able to do pull-ups pain-free without lifting straps. It's a pretty awesome feeling. Uh, I'm just sticking to the same perfect pull-up form, focusing on repassing my pull-up, focusing on it coming from the back as the originator and the controller of the movement and trying not to get overly manipulating with my arms and really focusing the exercise in the right portion. Then moving on to a new favorite, the weighted push-up. I did mention this in the previous vlog and I linked to a video by Fitness FAQs. But this exercise is really, really good just for loading up that push-up pattern which often people get to very high levels and it's hard to know where to go. This gives you kind of a definitive point that you can take your push-up to. Matching that with another simple movement, just the horizontal row with body weight, again focusing on that movement pattern, starting with the back, controlling it with the back, um, trying to keep form as good as possible. And it's just nice to be able to do this pain-free without straps. Then moving on to some prehab, I've been using these single arm Cuban rotations quite a lot lately, partly because I feel that I've got an imbalance from left to right, so it gives me more focus on addressing that and I can do additional sets on my weak side. And then alongside this, I also did band assisted ring support hold. This is to reduce the stability need because my elbows are still kind of new to this one and this did bother me initially. So I'm using a band between my hands just to make the rings a little bit more stable. This is a good beginner progression as well to anyone looking to get into rings training. But that is it, back to the vlog. Just finishing up with some wrist rehab. I'm still continuing that. Now onto more of a strengthening phase, just making sure that the injury doesn't reoccur and those forearm flexes are stronger than ever. That is basically the workout. As you saw from the previous episode, it is very similar. I'm still in the same phase of training, slowly progressing to lower reps, more strength work, harder progressions, to really just to keep loading the elbows progressively until we're back to where we were. Anyway, enough training, now for some food. Nice. Have it guys, the post-workout meal is a bowl of overnight, well, kind of overnight oats. I just blended it up this morning, chucked it in the fridge to have now at eight o'clock-ish. It is actually chocolate, banana, and coconut overnight oats, and then I threw some berries and coconut on top. I've never actually made this before, but I thought it'd be kind of a cool recipe to share with you guys. And it kind of goes along the same lines of keeping it simple because this literally took all of about four minutes to whip together. I think it's gonna taste pretty damn delicious. Oh yeah. Hey, unfortunately it is like nine o'clock now, which is just, to be honest, it's too late to be having like a full meal, especially the size that this one is, like 150 grams of rice. It's, it's kind of got in the zone earlier, got a bit carried away and then kind of didn't train a little later. So everything just gets pushed back. But all macros were hit for today. Pretty high calorie day, probably more than usual. As I've said before, looking to grow, hopefully going to be gaining some mass. I definitely have gained a little bit of mass, but still, still want to put on another kilo or so. I'll probably now go reply to some YouTube comments, go reply to the Facebook group, which if you're not a member yet, I'll link down below. But that is it for this week, guys. If you have any questions about today's episode, you know what to do, leave a comment down below. If you just enjoyed this episode, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. But that is it for this week, guys. Have a strong week and peace.